When most of us think of our ears, we really don't consider all the structures of the ear. In fact, we don't even consider all the regions of the ear. We're really just most of the time thinking about our external ear. But of course, there's more to it than that. This is a good place to start though, and we'll work our way inward or medial from here. So right here, we have the helix, then we have the anti-helix. We have the tragus, we have the anti-tragus. And down here, it's a little bit cut off here, but this is where somebody may typically have their ears pierced. This is called the lobule of the auricle. So helix, anti-helix, tragus, anti-tragus, and the lobule. You've heard of your ear lobes before. That's where the word comes from, the lobule of the auricle. Now, if I take this instrument, my little pointer that I have here, and I poke it inside here, what am I doing? I'm putting my pointer here down the ear canal, all right? That ear canal is actually what we call the external acoustic meatus. So if I take this piece off, this is all part of our external ear. Again, you can see helix, anti-helix. You can see the anti-tragus here. And you can go right down the external acoustic meatus. That's your ear canal. And this is all external ear right to this point right here. This structure right here, let me remove a little bit more. This structure right here If you look at it, this is our eardrum. We call it the tympanic membrane. If I put this back in place, all the way up to the lateral side of this tympanic membrane, this is all external ear, everything I've described up to this point. Once we go to the medial side of this, which is what you're seeing here now, the medial side of this, and you can actually see some of the bones, we call these auditory ossicles, some of the bones that we have here, in fact this is malleus and incus, we are now in the region of the middle ear. So our middle ear is going to be right through here. There's a tympanic membrane, pardon me, there's the tympanic membrane and there's the tympanic cavity. That's the area where our auditory ossicles are. And then we have this structure right here. We call it the pharyngotympanic tube. That's the tube that leads down to your nasopharynx. That's a region on the posterior or the backside of your nasal cavity. So this connects essentially your nose to your ears. This is all middle ear right here. If I tilt this down a little bit, let me hold this in place, you can see where these auditory ossicles are. Malleus, incus, and stapes. This is all middle ear. Now the stapes, this is a bone that rests on another tiny little membrane. Again, we have the tympanic membrane or your your eardrum that's one soft tissue we have another soft tissue right underneath here it's called the oval window once we pass to this side of the oval window we are now in the inner ear so again just for reference we have external ear that's from all the way to the outside to the tympanic membrane we have the middle ear that's the medial side of the tympanic membrane all the way down that pharyngotympanic tube, all the way to the oval window. And again, it encompasses this tympanic cavity here. But then from here in, when I say in, I mean medial, this is where we now get to the structures of the inner ear. And again, if you look here, you can see things like the semicircular canals, you can see the cochlea, and you can see cranial nerve number eight the vestibulocochlear nerve.